Hi guys, you are watching Nerdy Tech Expert and this is me Saad Khan and this is Rohail Khan, my little bro. Hey guys. So today this video is a bit different. We are showing you our PC upgrade we have made after seven years. Yes, this PC build came after seven years. The last PC build was in 2013. It was uh, a third generation Core i7 with 16 GB Corsair Vengeance RAM and uh, Asus Maximus 5 Extreme motherboard uh, coupled with uh, GTX 1080. So what we bought and what is everything and why we bought it it's in this video so let's get into it let's get started with the components we have purchased for our new pc build uh, just to clear guys that we have already uh, told you in the intro video that this build is now being created after seven years the first build we had was a third, uh, third generation i7 3770k uh, asus maximus 5 extreme motherboard and 16 gb corsair vengeance ram so uh, from that to this is going to be a huge increment uh, the first and the foremost thing the processor we have used yep it's the core i9 and uh, the core i9 9900k and the board i have used is z390 or as ultra motherboard it's from gigabyte uh, why this motherboard i've chosen because of its great vrm and overclocking capabilities and one more thing which i actually require i have five uh, hard disk drives one ssd and one ssd and four uh, hdds uh, the old ones that i had from my previous build uh, so I have to use it and this one has uh, six SATA ports SATA 6 GB ports So I wanted a board with six SATA ports and this delivered it and for Video games. I've always had an issue with my 240 GB Kingston HyperX 3G SSD. So I went for uh, the Samsung 970 Evo plus one terabyte NVMe M2 This is purely for games just to install video games and I have now uh, set my uh, 240 GB uh, SSD the Kingston HyperX uh, 3k to uh, my operating system drive and and on this drive uh, all the video games are installed and this time I have upped a notch the RAM amount the last build had 16 GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM uh, this one now I've gone with the G skill Tridents and this is 32 GB RAM 8 GB slots uh, and uh, four of them are installed in my system and they are 3600 megahertz for uh, the cooler I've I, we went with the master liquid ml 360r RGB because uh, the casing will show you the casing in a bit what with what uh, which casing we have used so this is an RGB uh, enabled cooler liquid cooler with three fans three 120 mm fans and liquid cooling to cool up this monster so uh, all thoughts because one thing or basically two things in which Rohail was very stuck on that we should get only these things so I was okay with 9700k but Rohail was not uh, you know interested in the 9700k he wanted the best of the best uh, the 9900k at the moment it's available the highest model of intel available here in pakistan so rohel tell us why did you stuck for the intel core i9 9900k and why not 9700k we could have saved some bucks here yeah the i7 9700k was good enough for gaming as it has eight cores but i do a lot of video editing and it needs a lot of hyper threading so this beast have eight cores and 16 threads so it it was best for me that that beast was was just top of the line for me that that's why i chose 9900 ki9 yeah and uh, uh, not to forget that this beast has 16 mb of cache yeah exactly yeah, and the 9700k has 12 mb cache so 4 mb more cache and more faster caching you know uh, for video editing and hypothetic so this is what real yeah the i7 9700k was good enough for gaming as it has eight cores but i do a lot of video editing and it needs a lot of hyper threading so this beast have eight cores and 16 threads 
so it it was best for me that that beast was was just top of the line for me that that's why i chose 9900 ki i9 yeah and uh, uh, not to forget that this beast has 16 mb of cache yeah exactly yeah and the 9700k has 12 mb of cache so 4 mb more cache and more faster caching you know uh, for video editing and hyper threading so this is what real one and about the ssd i would like to add that it's a huge jump from even an ssd i've been using 240 gb uh, kingston hyperx 3k ssd and the only issue i had it the games nowadays have 100 gb 150 gb um, and call of duty modern warfare 2019 is about 180 gb so 240 gb wasn't enough for operating system and video games so uh, yeah on this i've installed my every game that i used to play the, for example i played grid 2019 a lot and and f1 2019 i've played them both and loading times have decreased dic- uh, drastically amazing experience and when a new track loads the road textures car textures driver textures and environment textures they just load instantaneously there is no lag between so this is a really amazing experience rohel has been playing driven 2 and uh, tom clancy's ghost recon breakpoint and i have seen that hdd on hdd the loading times were too long so rohel can better tell you about it so rohel tell us about the loading times of the driven 2 and tom clancy's ghost recon recon yeah the, the loading time was like 5 uh, to 6 minutes on our previous build but now they are reduced to less than 1 minute or m- maximum one one minute not more than that so that's pretty much a lot folks this is too good performance from an m2 ssd so yeah this is a huge upgrade and uh, the casing in which we have set all this now let's get into it okay so yeah this bad boy uh, the thermal take view 71 tg first thing i would like to say yes it is definitely a very good looking chassis the tempered glass design you can see every rgb element uh, from inside uh, the case my motherboard also have three uh, lighting areas uh, the ram i'm using also have rgb and uh, the cooler i'm using is also rgb from the pump side and the fan side they are rgb very beautiful looking and when i install that gtx uh, 1080 it also have that strip uh, saying evga gtx 1080 in white color so it it is very beautiful looking and this casing yeah one another thing rohel got stuck on is this casing and rohel can tell us why did he, why was he stuck on this casing and this is quite pricey here in pakistan and he was stuck so we got that so rohel tell us why was this one you chose yeah the the story behind it is about two years ago i was searching for the new chassis for pc uh, i was going through instagram hashtags like pc builds new new pcs new chassis like this and i stumbled upon this and when when i saw it it was like wow it's it's just beautiful and it it has a very very large capacity well it, it it was it was wonderful and i had to get it not just because it's beautiful because uh, it's it's very huge and uh, the processors from 8th gen and onwards intend to take uh, intend to heat up a lot so it, it needed a good airflow so that was that was as perfect for it and uh, the cooler which was it was just like he said it has three fans it was very 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 huge big like yay big so it that cooler wasn't it, it wouldn't have fit in any other case than this one so that's why i i chose this the thermal tech view 71 Yeah, uh, yeah, and I would agree that after installing everything on this, but before uh, it, the box, when I saw it on the shop, and I was like, "Rohel, this is so big. This isn't going to fit in our 
uh, desktop table and the spot the CPU spot but yeah after installing everything and putting it into place it just got fit we had to modify our table a bit but yeah it got fit and that's our build and uh, thanks a lot for watching and with this wrapped up we have a special guest here with us welcome Dawar Iftikhar our cousin uh, Eid is approaching all cousins are combined now and you must follow this guy on Twitter he has uh, uh, 5800 followers already he is a meme creator he is a funny tweeter and uh, yeah he he has created uh, little characters in his tweets like right now his begum is missing yeah my begum is actually missing yeah his begum is missing he's he's finding her and uh, to know the story further you must follow him to know how is he finding her so i'll see you in the next one like and subscribe and peace out guys